Where's he gonna go? Where's Where's AJ gonna go? Who's he gonna fight? Is he gonna risk fighting Deontay Wilder and get knocked out and losing 50 or 100 million against this guy? To make 10, 20. It's not worth it, it's not beneficial. The cash cow is sat here today. Everybody wants to be like Mike. <laughs> Listen, the big fight is between me and him, so he can't fight Wilder. It's Wilder's a dangerous fight. A dangerous fight for a lot less money. And this is about money. So, if he wants to make that money, I suggest he stays away from Wilder. And he see Eddie Earn and Joshua see Parker as an easy victim. As an easy victim. But like that clip showed, a little fat Bulgarian chinned him. Bish bosh wallop. Sat about in the corner. He was a big weightlifter then too. And that was a little fat man. Punched, punched his head right in for him. So can Parker beat him? Yes, he can. Parker's as tough as a brick. Game as a pebble. Young and ambitious and has got nothing to lose. And nothing, really. No expectations on him. Nobody expects Parker to beat Joshua. It's all about the weightlifter. Let's go in there and blast a few out. Boosh, bash, bash. It's all about him. So there's no expectations on young Joseph. He's just a man coming for a paycheck, isn't he? So he can't, he can't lose. It's a no-lose situation. Because if he loses to Joshua, oh, right, he was supposed to lose. But if he wins, he becomes a legendary in the game. And then I'll have to come back and give him a boxing lesson. Which I don't want to because he's my mate. So, it is what it is. Parker can beat Joshua and can knock him out. Joshua's chin is, is dodgy. We know this for a fact. We've seen Klitschko drag him off the canvas. Wobble him, shake him, rock him. The young Daniel, 20 year old, is supposed to have knocked him out sparring. I've heard plenty of knockout videos and plenty of knockout rumours and dropped and all that. So we know he can be hurt and hit because we've seen it live on TV. Klitschko's done him, man 40 odd year old. He did he not have a life and death situation with Vladimir and just about won the fight. Could have lost it in round five, six or seven. But Klitschko didn't step on the gas for whatever reason. So we know he's not beatable. We've just seen a midget take him 12 rounds. The referee had to stop it because he was looking um, unsteady and couldn't protect himself. No matter what people want to say about that fight or what they want to say about me talking about this interview about that fight, I state facts. Takam was fresh and was still landing punches. He was not hurt in that fight. The British Boxing Border Control referee had to step in and do him a favour because he probably would have got carried out in 11 and 12 So, this is what you're dealing with. Say it as it is. The man's five foot ten took the, took the fight on ten days notice. So, this man ain't unvincible. This is a pumped up steroid man. Full of juice, full of weights. Who's knocked out for you men. This ain't Muhammad Ali. This is a man built up believing in his own hype and a man is going to come crashing down to earth very very soon he tweeted a couple of weeks ago excuse my language at Tyson Fury get fit you fat fuck yeah your initial response when you scrolled along your Twitter and, and see that he tweeted that there wasn't much of a response because I don't really pay, pay any mind to that uh, comment. Get fit, you fat man. Everybody knows I'm a fat man. I'm a fat man for a reason. I'm a fat man because I've not been training. Because of what's happened to me. Because I'm the shortest reigning IBF champion in history. Because I had to have all the belts taken off me. Because they had to pick them all up out of the bin. And because they can never become real champions until they beat me, that's why I'm fat. I'm the big fat cat sitting on top of the throne. Joshua Wilder Parker. They can never ever be considered great of their era until they beat me. 
until they beat the man who beat the man, they can never beat the man, ever. No matter if they have another 10 wins or 20 wins each, they can never beat the man because they didn't beat the man. I'm the man of this era. I beat the leaning super champion easy. Until they beat me, they ain't nobody. And they know it. That's why they all want to fight me. Do you think Tony Bell would want to fight a match fit Tyson Fury? Even said himself, he'd have no chance against Tyson Fury. Back in the day he was fit and ready and active. But they want to try and sneak a win in. That's embarrassing, isn't it? They want to try and kick a man while he's down and try and take his lineal status off him by a man who wouldn't last two rounds if it was fit and match fit and ready. And I see Eddie Hearn spouting off. Him who needs a slap up the head. That he wants, wants to be the manager. And he wants to uh, fight me with Joshua. Where was you all two years ago? When you said AJ wasn't ready. He's only a young boy. But all of a sudden. He wants to fight the fat king now does he? Because it's a bit more, it's a bit more even now. I've had two and a half years out of the ring. And I've got to lose seven stone. Is this how it all works? They want to try and beat somebody who's not even in shape to fight. If I had five or six fights, I don't fight all these guys. I'm match fit, nobody can beat me. Because I'm not match fit. Not yet anyway. But I will be. Because unlike them, it ain't about money for me. As I've said many, many times about pride, honour and respect. And I wouldn't go and lay down for anybody for any amount of money. Never. Never, 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 ever. So when I'm ready, I'll be ready. And until then, they can all keep fighting the bums until the lineal king is back, fit, ready and active. We'll give you two fights. Two knockovers and then fight AJ, who's match fit. Ha! Dream on, suckers. Dream on. I'll go and I will destroy Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Parker and Tony Bellew. And whoever else is a world champion. When I'm ready, not when you're ready. I go on my time, nobody else's time. Time. Mine. Not yours. I wonder if I was match fit and had six or seven fights in a row and they had two and a half years out of the ring. Would they want to fight me? Do you think that would happen then? Do you think they'd even contemplate it or dream about it? These men can only dream about being the man I am. These heavyweights. They can only dream about it. They can go to bed thinking about it. Dreaming they could ever be a man like me. A real respect man. A man of honour, a man of principles, a man of morals, a man of faith, a man of goodwill and gesture, a man who will help anybody, a man that doesn't have no price, who can't be bought. They can only dream about it being as straight as I am. I've never ripped anybody off in my life and I never will. I've never borrowed anything I've never paid back in my life. Totally straight as an arrow. They can only dream about being like that. Dreamers. And as for fighting, they can only ever dream about that too. They go to bed dreaming about being the man I am. I wish I could say that. I wish I could be as straight as him. I have to be wound up and, talk and told what to do. Only dream of being the man I am. And all them people who hate it, they can only dream about it. Then we're going home and getting told what to do by the missus. They can only dream about being a real man like me. My missus is at home now, contemplating on what I'm having for lunch when I'm coming in. Whether it's going to be a roast dinner, or fried breakfast, or whatever you want, it'll be done. I'm a man who looks after me wife. I'm a man who looks after me kids. I'm a loving father, husband, son. Brother, cousin, uncle, relative. 
Nobody can say anything bad about me. Only haters. Who can only dream about being like me. Everyone you ever speak to will tell you I'm a stand on man. Anyone says bad stuff about me, they've got to fight. Simple. And that's the way I am, old fashioned, throw down type of guy. No nonsense, no messing about, straight as an arrow. So in answer to my question, you weren't phased about anything Joshua put on Twitter? I wasn't phased, not one bit, and you know I wasn't, because you know what happened behind the scenes. Yeah. Any time Anthony Joshua wants it, he can have it. I don't need to get fit, I don't need nothing. Yeah. If I wanted to, I could go up there and I'd slap him all about London. And he couldn't do nothing about it. Not one thing. Because I'm the man. And all his little coronies around him, and his plastic gangsters he's involved with, Nothing. Slap, slap, slap. Real men slap bitches. Slap. Yeah? That's what you're messing with. A real G. Anytime, any place, anywhere, holler at me, as they say.